Kelly Paris. As you can see, I'm not the tallest player in the WNBA, but I've always tried to give my all on the court for my team, and that's helped me have the real winning edge when reaching my goals. The same is true for the young woman I'm about to introduce to you. Wow, has she had her fair share of challenges. When she could have given it to the beat, she didn't. She keeps moving forward on the court in basketball and in life. She has what we like to call the real winning edge. I was in eighth grade and I had this type of burden on my back. I found the strength to um, tell my mom um, what's been going on and what's been bothering me. My dad had been sexually um, abusing me. I love basketball because um, it's always been my, my safe place. When somebody does take the ball away from me, I just turn around and um, say to myself, what should I do better next time? I can go out on the court and there's no one out there that can hurt me or touch me or I can truly be myself. Kelly's leadership style is, is more of a quiet leader. I mean, she's not somebody that's going to you know, berate her teammates. She's very supportive of her teammates, um, often offering them uh, positive suggestions, especially in practice. Kelly is able to turn the page uh, quickly when adversity strikes, and I think that's huge, especially, when you're, especially on the basketball floor, but more importantly in life and she's always taking younger players under her wing and she's always concerned with how her team is doing and not just how she's doing. She has a crazy schedule. She is a basketball player. She works at Zoinks, a very active social life. And through it all, everything is always done with 100%, never an excuse, never late, um, always uh, actively participating in class and trying her best. And it's Callie that's not only doing her work, but she's encouraging everybody else to do the same. I love helping out my teammates now. And my ultimate goal for when I leave high school and go into the real world is I really want to um, mentor children. And I also think I'd be a very good educator. We both work together at Zoinks Fun Factory. She wants to make, every, make sure everyone's happy all the time. She doesn't like seeing one frown on anyone's face. How I'm able to fit in everything in my schedule with playing three sports and um, being class president and um, find like an inner strength type of thing where um, I set goals for myself. Um, I'm currently in the foster care system. My family hit um, very hard um, trials. My dad had been sexually um, abusing me and at that point I sort of saw um, strength, the strength in my mom go and she didn't know how to help me and she thought that it was her fault that when my dad was incarcerated she turned to alcohol which turned to her not being able to take care of me and my siblings. I see her now all the time and she's, she, I can see that she turned herself around. I came to know Callie as a substitute teacher at her middle school. We got really close over the last couple of years. We did everything we could to have her come live with us. She doesn't fall into that category of, you know, being depressed or anything. She just picks herself up and moves along school Yes, when I've seen her down, I see that she prays about it, and she just kept her head up high, played the sport she did, and executed awesomely in school. And she is a teenager that I can trust, and that's ingrained in her with her faith. She sees other people's hurts and needs before she sees her own. She could be a very angry girl if she wanted to be and she's not, she's very happy. You see people like that and you know, they have a harder time dealing with it and she takes it as something to learn from to pick herself back up and try to make something positive. I've always grown up um, very religious and um, very close to God. I remember when I was younger uh, and I would sleep over my Nana's house, she'd pray for, for hours. She'd help me say, say my prayers. I think that's where it all started when I was younger with my, with my grandmother and my relationship with God. When I was in, in my darkest time and, um, and I was hurting the most, uh, I, that's when I really drew closer to God and um, 
I found that a lot of my prayers um, have been answered because when I look back now, I, I never thought that I could make it as far as I did and be the person I am today. And having a relationship with God, it's, that's really helped me a lot in my life when God has answered my prayers was last year my brother he got in a very bad uh, fight which led him to some very severe um, stab wounds. It was a very big miracle that my brother is still alive today and I just thank God every day that my brother is still alive. My advice to kids that are experiencing the same things that I have gone through, don't just don't be scared to to use your voice. Using my voice was the best thing that I ever did and that feeling of not being um, tortured anymore and abused and um, being scared at night to, to go to bed is the best feeling in the world and you just really need to find the strength to um, tell somebody. What's giving me the real winning edge in life is my faith in God and overcoming my weaknesses and the dark times in my life and being able to be successful.